Okay, Pally, you're the security guard. Time for you to go jiggle some doorknobs. Hey, you think I don't know what time it is? What do you mean? That deal you got with the Magma Core bosses. Time for you to start dumping that toxic crud that no one's supposed to know about. How did you know about that? Hey, I'm the watchman, remember? I've been watching you do it for a whole year now. hurting anyone. The stuff goes down some wells, into those caves they found way below the city. Hey, I don't want to shut you down or nothing. I just want a little dough to keep my mouth shut, you understand? Oh, yeah. I understand. Just because some bad guys trashed the Magma Corp plant doesn't mean they'll show up here. We don't know that. HydroClean could be an attractive target for industrial saboteurs. I hope not. New Detroit needs all the clean water and cheap power HydroClean can produce. Geothermal power wasn't possible. Then we found these caverns underneath the city. They get us that much closer to the molten lava we need to evaporate our dirty water and convert it into clean steam. Matt, want to help show your mom something? Sure! Doc's helping me pick a topic for my science report. Can I take this thing home when we're done here? No! Aw, oh, Mom! Matt! Up there! Dirty new Detroit water goes in. Nice clean superheated steam rises out. It's nature's own recycling system. Hey, I know what I want to do my science report on now. That's great! Geothermal heat transfer is pretty exciting stuff. No. I want to do my report on these transport belts. Oh. Oh, okay. Come on, I, I got the specs on them here in the main office. We'll take one more look around, just to make sure everything's okay. I don't know what you could find. Nothing's tripped the outside security sensors. If you want to go over the water to check the tubes, you'll need the transport belts right over there. Got it. If I flip over, don't laugh. Whoever attacked the Magma Corp plant would have a hard time sneaking in here. But someone did. Look at that! What's that? I think I'm gonna like it. Woo! What's going on down there, Rafe? 
The report log said you had to shut down drilling early. Yes, sir. Half the equipment quit working. We called in maintenance, but oh, you know how long that can take. Hey, Ray, you're breaking up again. I'm telling you, Dr. Newmeyer, it's been doing that all day. Better go down and check it out. Hey, Matt, want to go down to the drill site? <gasps> I'll take that as a yes. Let me run an analysis on this. I know I've seen something like this before, but I can't think where. I can tell you, but you're not going to like it. What do you mean? It's some kind of shell. From an interesting source, too. Bugs. Bugs? I hate bugs! Great big bugs. I really hate great big bugs! Elevator in shaft 7 appears to be offline. Add it to the repair manifest. Matt, well, what are you doing? We've got transport belts. Come on, Doc. It'll be fun. This'll be a lot of things, Matt. Fun is not one of them. Come on, Doc. We're almost there. <laughs> Ray, it's me. I want to check the comm lines. Ray? Whoa, what happened? Ray? Ray? Anybody? Can anyone hear me? <laughs> In here? Help! <clears throat> Ray, are, are you okay? <sighs> what happened? Uh, it, it was so dark. I couldn't see. But those... Those monsters kept coming. Monsters? We're getting out of here. Ray, you first. Okay, you're next. Get up there. But you don't have a transport belt. Trust me, I'm practically levitating. Go already. Hang on! We can go up together. One minute, ten four. Welcome back, citizens. What's happening? I'm not sure. I have to get mad. <laughs> Are you all right? Have you seen Dr. Neumeier? He, he's down there with some kid. Doc gave me his transport belt. Matt's down there? <laughs> Can't see much, even with your headlights. I wonder. Ah, phosphorescent light. How'd you know? 10th grade biology summer school. That and my spectrum analyzer. Matt! Matt! Elevator in shaft 7 appears to be offline. Add it to the repair manifest. Matt, well, what are you doing? We've got transport belts. Come on, Doc. It'll be fun. Matt! They went that away. Matt! Matt! Where are you? Matt! Can you hear me? What was that? appear to be Neanderthals and really big bugs. That part I figured out already. Uh. Hey! <laughs> uh. 
patty cake on the first date, cave boy. Hey, let me go. Murphy! Finger lasers. I'm not impressed. Chainsaw. Tell me when I can wake up, because this has to be a bad dream. No, it's real. That's not helping. Oh, Matt! Matt! Oh, baby, are you all right? I was so worried. Mom! Give me a moment. How come you didn't do this sooner? I hate bugs! I hate bugs! The fastest way to find Matt was to let his captors bring us to him. Thanks. Can you believe this? An entire subterranean community. This could be the science find of the century. Only if we survive to tell it. Just look at this. Authentic Neanderthal cave art. But how, Doc? Neanderthals died out like, what, 40,000 years ago? Typical upper world arrogance. As you can see, we are very much alive. Hi, I'm Dr. Cornelius Neumeyer. I have just a few questions, won't take a minute. Your whole world down here is... is private. Thousands of years ago, your people forced us to the edge of the Earth. Our ancestors' lives would have ended there if they had not found the caves. Where'd you get the cool bugs? We found them here, grown large from the warmth of the liquid fire. Now they serve us. We have listened to your voices echoing in our tunnels. We learned your tongue, your many words for hate. But we mean no harm. For a year now, you send poisons into our lakes. You drill into our tunnels and flood them. Finally, you force us to act! What happened at Magma Corp? That was you? We wished you upper worlders no harm, but we had to stop the poisons. I bet Magma Corp dumped waste down here. I knew they weren't on the level. Please, I just want to get my son and get out of here. No one leaves. That is our way. You may live here with us, but you cannot return to bring more of your kind to hunt us. What? No! I warned you, Rygor. They wouldn't be here if you'd let me turn their tools against themselves. I could have destroyed all the Upper Worlders with our own liquid fire months ago. No, Brecken. We stopped the poisons. Besides, an eruption of the liquid fire would have destroyed us too. My life is already destroyed, Rygor! You didn't lose your home to their poisons like I did! You didn't lose your herd! I'm sick of all this loss! Now it is time for the Upper Worlders to lose! Ready? Aim! Fire! We'll be right back after these messages. Now, back to the show, citizens. Fire! No! Cable arms! Reckon, stop! No! I'll destroy you all! Stop this now! You stop it! You and your dangerous tools tore into our caves! Then you poured rivers of poison down upon us! We could stop the bad people who sent the poison. Magma Corp isn't allowed to do that. They... That's a lie! There are too many upper worlders. No one can stop their actions! We have to destroy them! 
Brecken's rage is great. He has gone to unleash the liquid fires. You mean lava? My people are peaceful. Years and years ago, we chose to move down here rather than fight with upper worlders over a few feet of dirt. Ours is a way of peace. But Brecken's losses have filled him with anger. His rage may doom us all. Not if we work together. You can't control lava. The liquid fire will destroy your world. He'll destroy your world, too. I have no world. You took everything from me. Brecken believes we cannot share the world with you upper worlders. But you can see, we do not need very much. There has to be a way that we can all live in peace. No! Uh, Mom, behind us! <gasps> Lava, we're trapped! We can't get to the river! Follow me. Think. You, you can't control the forces of nature. You would destroy the whole world out of anger. I would destroy you! The heat's getting worse! We should be hitting the Detroit River just about. You're too late, Upper Worlder! Nothing can stop the lava now! <laughs> has ever been allowed to leave our secret world. But you saved us, and I know you wish to return to the surface. Can you keep our confidence? Yes. We will do everything we can to protect your life here and to stop the poisons. I trust you. Return to your world so we may return to ours. The project I'm working on, the geothermal plant, I'll reconfigure the piping so it won't interfere with your world down here. I know we can make this work. All we want is to live our lives in peace. Sounds good to me. Well, Matt, I told you geothermal energy was an exciting topic. 
Yeah, but I picked something else to write about. You did? What? Bugs! I hate bugs! Ugh! Don't move, citizen. We'll be right back. And now, back to the show. Next, your favorite trio of inseparable siblings is coming at you with more zany adventures. It's right, Yakko, Wacko, and their adorable sister, Dot, are ready to wreak loads of havoc on Kids WB. Don't move a muscle. Steven Spielberg presents Animaniacs. Next.